Have you ever wondered why the Pleiades shine so brightly in our night sky? Or what mysteries lie hidden within their brilliant blue nebula? Join us on a journey 400 light years through space, where we will explore the breathtaking beauty and wonders of all the major stars in this cluster. And here's a heads up, the final ones are the most surprising. The incredible Pleiades star cluster is a special feature of the night sky, best seen from late autumn to early spring in the northern hemisphere and from late spring to early autumn in the southern hemisphere. It is one of the few deep sky objects that can be observed easily from almost anywhere on Earth, even without a telescope. The Pleiades are a stunning group of bright blue stars located near the constellation of Taurus. The Pleiades are easy to spot with the naked eye, and the first telescopic observation of this cluster was made by Galileo Galilei in the early 1600s. With a telescope or binoculars, you can see over 100 individual stars, all sparkling brilliantly. In Greek mythology, the Pleiades were seven sisters, daughters of Atlas and Pleione, renowned for their beauty and grace. They were relentlessly pursued by the mighty hunter Orion, who fell deeply in love with them. Desperate for help, the sisters prayed to the gods, and Zeus, moved by their plight, transformed them into stars, placing them in the sky. Even after his death, Orion was immortalized as a constellation, continuing his eternal chase across the heavens. However, he never catches the Pleiades. In ancient Greece, the Pleiades were famously used as a vision test. If you could see five or six stars, your eyesight was considered normal. Those who could distinguish seven or more stars were known to have exceptional vision. Interestingly, only six stars of the cluster are clearly visible to the naked eye, inspiring the legend that one sister, often identified as Merope, hides in shame for marrying a mortal. The visibility and brightness of the Pleiades have made them significant in myths, folklore, and literature across the world. The name Pleiades may come from the ancient Greek word meaning to sail, highlighting their role as a guide for sailors navigating the Mediterranean Sea. Let's travel to the stars. Every bright point of light you see now is a star like our sun. The Pleiades are located approximately 440 light years away from Earth. With our current technology, it would still take over 7 million years to reach this stunning cluster. The Pleiades form what is known as an open star cluster, a loose grouping of stars that were born from the same giant molecular cloud. The gases in the nebula include molecular hydrogen, along with smaller amounts of helium, carbon monoxide, and ionized gases. It is described as open because the stars are not arranged within spherical volume like a globular cluster. Instead, they are spread out in more dispersed structure. The Pleiades are dominated by luminous blue stars that are quite young on the cosmic timescale. Most of them formed within the last 100 million years, making them mere adolescents compared to our 4.6 billion-year-old sun. 
The stars in this cluster are predominantly of spectral type B, which means they are massive, hot, and radiate an intense blue-white light. The classification of these stars is based on their temperature and predominant wavelength they emit. The entire cluster spans a distance of over 15 light years and contains more than 1,000 individual stars, including binary and multiple star systems. This complex collection is not only a dazzling sight, but also a fascinating laboratory for studying the lives of young stars. The most famous stars of the Pleiades are named after the seven sisters of Greek mythology. Alcyone, Electra, Maya, Merope, Tegida, Seleno, and Asterope. The cluster also includes the parents of these sisters, Atlas and Pleione, both of which shine brightly in the group. Beyond the mesmerizing blue giants of the Pleiades, there are some truly fascinating details about the individual stars and the cluster as a whole. Let's see the stars closer. From Earth, Asterope is one of the dimmer stars among the Seven Sisters, often challenging to see without ideal conditions. However, Asterope is far from insignificant. It shines with 100 times the luminosity of our Sun, has nearly double the Sun's mass, and is almost three times larger. Seleno is a fascinating binary star system. The two stars share an orbit and together shine over 300 times brighter than our Sun. Seleno A, the primary star, is almost four times larger than the Sun, with three times the mass and double the temperature. Seleno A spins incredibly fast at nearly 1 million kilometers per hour, giving it a flattened oval shape. This rapid rotation causes it to lose mass at its equator. The mysterious Seleno B is still little understood. The stars in the Seleno system orbit each other at a distance of 3.6 billion kilometers, completing a full orbit roughly every 20 years. Pleione is a stunning star that shines 300 times brighter than the Sun and is nearly four times larger. It is visible to the naked eye from Earth and has an intense surface temperature. Tegida is a massive, brilliantly hot star. Its luminosity is 600 times greater than that of the Sun, and its surface temperature soars to over 13,000 degrees Celsius. Merope stands out as one of the most striking stars in the Pleiades. It's nearly four times larger than the Sun and shines 630 times brighter. It is surrounded by a beautiful reflection nebula made of leftover interstellar dust that gives off an ethereal blue glow. Maya is a dazzling blue giant, nearly five times the size of the Sun. It reaches a blistering surface temperature of 12,000 degrees Celsius, more than twice as hot as our Sun, and just over 600 times as luminous. 
Maya is surrounded by one of the brightest reflection nebula in the cluster, so prominent that it has its own name. The Maya Nebula. Electra is the third brightest star of the Pleiades, a magnificent blue-white giant that glows 940 times brighter than the sun. Electra is nearly five times the size of our sun, six times as massive, and burns nearly three times hotter. Electra is also a rapid rotator, spinning at 600,000 kilometers per hour, which causes it to eject material into space, adding to the surrounding reflection nebula. Atlas is the second brightest star in the Pleiades and is actually a triple system and is one of the most remarkable systems in the cluster. Atlas AA is a blue giant star similar to its neighbors and it is accompanied by a small red dwarf which was probably caught by its gravity. Atlas B is the second most massive of the three, nearly twice the diameter of the Sun, with three times the mass and almost triple the temperature. The closest pair of stars orbit each other every four days, while the distant companion completes an orbit around the main stars every two years. The brightest star in the Pleiades, Alcyone, is not just a single star, but a multiple star system. The two stars, Alcyone A and B, are gravitationally bound and interact closely. Together, these stars shine with a combined luminosity of 2,000 times that of our Sun. Alcyone A is the most massive of them, nearly eight times the diameter of the Sun, with five times the mass and almost triple the temperature. Alcyone B is a giant star similar to its neighbor. They orbit each other at a distance of about 700 million kilometers, completing one orbit every four years. Although the Pleiades are dominated by bright, young stars, astronomers have discovered the presence of white dwarfs. These are the remnants of once massive stars that have already exhausted their fuel and collapsed. It's remarkable to think that, despite the overall youth of the cluster, a few of its stars have already reached the end of their life cycle. There is also evidence that planets may be forming around some of the stars in the Pleiades. The region's dense and active environment, filled with radiation and interstellar microscopic grains of silicates and graphite, and complex organic molecules like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, makes it a challenging but intriguing place for the potential birth of new worlds. In a planet orbiting Alcyone, 
Electra, or Maya, the night sky would be incredibly bright, even at night. The reason? You'd be surrounded by other nearby Pleiadian stars. The sky wouldn't be truly dark because of the combined glow of these stars. These stars would appear many times larger and brighter than Sirius, the brightest star in Earth's night sky. The famous blue nebulosity of the Pleiades would be much more vivid and vibrant that would stretch across large portions of the sky. The largest and brightest stars would be visible even during the day, and the abundance of light from the nearby stars might make it difficult to see fainter stars or galaxies. But the overall sky would be a breathtaking, shimmering landscape. It would be an impressive view, but unfortunately, deadly. Living on a planet in the Pleiades would be incredibly harsh due to the intense radiation from the young blue stars. The high levels of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation would make the surface environment dangerous for most forms of life as we know it, requiring heavy protection or a thick atmosphere. Interestingly, the characteristic blue nebulosity that surrounds the Pleiades is not leftover material from the formation of these stars. Instead, it is a pre-existing cloud of interstellar dust. The stars are merely passing through this region of space, and their brilliant blue light reflects off the dust, creating the stunning nebulae we see today. Astronomers estimate that in around 250 million years, the stars will have drifted apart each traveling its own path through the galaxy. We are lucky to live in an era where we can see them united, creating one of the most beautiful and famous clusters in the night sky. If you enjoyed and learned something new here, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next journeys into space. Is there a place in the universe you'd like to explore? Share your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.